Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the High School Star League versus the Collegiate Star League show matches. And this is going to be game 2 between the University of Washington and Cerritos High School. Cerritos High School down on the blue side, University of Washington up <coughs> on the red side. So it's one to none so far in favor of Cerritos High School. And uh, just to um, clarify this more, they are using two subs. Uh, for the side of, excuse me, University of Washington, and Maxfield and ESGC one as the sub, so, you know, obviously that might affect the gameplay so far, but, I mean, Cerritos High School, they had a really strong game last game, and it was really off the back of Decrupt, as well as Yahoo.com, who is, uh, actually temp name in this game. This is actually the 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 full roster of Cerritos High School. A few of the uh, guys did get some name changes uh, just to switch it up, you know. Anyways, it looks like we're seeing them just stacking up in the brush. But to go over it really quickly, we're seeing Riven up top lane as Mufasa. And actually, Hammer, he might be looking for a hook here. And now they're going to be going in here. But everyone's in. They're going to be stacking up. Hammer gets so low. He has to flash away. First one goes over. The how to play Maxwell going down as well. Yahoo.com picks it up. And that invade was completely countered by Cerritos High School right there. And that was just really great for them. Picking up the two first kills of the game. They started off on Yahoo.com as well as how to play and that's gonna be great AD carry a mid laner and a mid laner LeBlanc being played by yahoo.com got the first or got the second blood really is gonna be absolutely great for his landing phase anyways now that we got that out of the way really quickly let's go over we're gonna be having Mufasa up top lane on Riven ESGC one on Rumble once again same match that we saw from the last game in the jungle Z crept on Lee Sin Maxfield on uh, Kha'Zix, middle lane, it's LeBlanc being played by Yahoo.com, excuse me, Yahoo.com versus Evertan Z. In the bottom lane, it's how to play on Ezreal and what the heck on Thresh versus Alliance on Vayne. And Harimer on Blitzcrank, and we're seeing aggression down bottom off of a hook from Harimer. They just go right to aggression, how to play, and what the heck. Just putting down the damage, and Alliance gets so close to going down right there. And that was just not even a good hook, and nope! Yahoo.com with some damage onto everything, he roamed up and paid for it, really. Yahoo.com right here in level 2, flashes exhaust! I mean, Ignite is going down, picks up the kill. And some nice early game coming out of Yahoo.com right there. Three and none so far in favor of Cerritos High School. And they are starting this game off very well. So this has gone extremely well for them. Just with the early game kills going into their favor as well. Some nice lane domination. There's 12 CS right now on how to play because they forced the lines to back up really early. It's coming back to lane just now. Really behind on CS. So this is not going to be good at all for the bottom lane. Of University to watch of University of Washington, and I mean, you know, last game Everton and Yahoo.com had a pretty even matchup in the middle lane, but it might all change now with the fact that uh, Yahoo.com is able to pick up two kills in the early game as well as an assist for himself, and that's kind of the danger of invading early. You never know what you'll run into, and uh, in this instance. Cerritos uh, University of Washington ran to a whole lot of enemies and Alliance is actually taking damage. The barrier is not enough. What the heck picks up the kill? Now they're turning this one around to Hammer, pull him in with the death sentence. What the heck putting down some damage here? He's going to have the mana shield pop to stay alive. Tries to turn around with the rocket grab is, is unable to. Now Decrupt is coming into middle lane. Living Shadow from Everton. Get some far enough so that they uh, back off from that gank. But still... Bottom lane, Alliance pretty much died twice. Although, it's not dying the way... He died twice, but how to play only, play only got one kill pretty much. Because Alliance is forced to go back at really low health, walk back to lane, and he died again. He actually died for real. And now he's just so behind on CS. There's 23 CS right now on how to play to 8 CS on Alliance. And that is just a huge, huge lead. For how to play this early in the game. 
So this is not going to be looking good right now for University of Washington, especially with this bottom lane. And they picked a van and blitzing combo, which is a very interesting combo. How to play? He's taking a bit of damage, but he's able to get behind the minions to block himself off from any any rocket grabs. Looks like top lane Mufasa and C1 are dueling once again. We saw this matchup last game. It went pretty much in Mufasa's favor after some help from the jungle, but judging from the damage it is, actually there it is, the gank coming off from D Corrupt, coming off from the side, the hook onto Harimer here, Alliance is getting low as well, had a place chasing after him, finds the kill, now can take the dark passage all the way under the tower towards Harimer, and he's going to be going down here, or possibly not, nope, there it is, auto attack, double kill coming off. For how to play 3-0 and 2 the start off this game is an absolutely monstrous lead. 6 to none. And this is the game. This is not like the game we saw last game at all. This is such a dominating lead for Cerritos High School. And we're seeing Yahoo.com training with Everton. He's getting pretty low on mana. Has to be a bit careful. He actually has the uh the Crystalline Flask and he's still going aggressive. He knights down! And it's the Q to pick up the kill. And Yahoo.com finds yet again. Another kill, and this game is not mounting to be good at all for University of Washington. They have a really big assassin comp right here with the Kha'Zix, with the Zed, but they are just getting destroyed in the laning phase, and that means when they become assassins or when it comes to team fights and they want to... Oh my gosh, that looks really cool with the backing actually right there. They look, they were they're perfectly aligned how to play, and what the heck. And they're just... Oh, Alright, okay, so anyways... When they get to this level where they need to get into the team fights, Everton and Maxfield, they won't be able to put out enough damage because they've just been destroying these lands. And Mufasa is finding the kill on the C1, and he can't do anything about that. He goes down. So even top lane, Mufasa's winning out this. And it, last game, it took him a while to you know get that lead, but this game, he's done it solo without help from Decrep this time. And there is Yahoo.com with the damage. Onto Everton in the middle lane, and that's just that's just monstrous. Alliance out taking damage on bottom lane. He's getting melted here. Can he get out? Descendants lands onto Harimer, but how to play goes right on for Alliance. The auto attacks pick up the kill. They flay back Harimer. He's under the tower. There is the true shot barrage for another double kill for how to play there. He has a BF sword already picked up in this game. In 7 minutes, and he just picked up a double kill. He's dominating in CS. He's going to go back. He's going to have so much gold to spend. And this is just monstrous. And we're seeing just the entire team at University of Washington getting shut down. In all lanes, everyone on their team is negative. They all, all have deaths. None of them have kills. It's 10 to none to start it off. And now Yahoo.com is looking for more, going under the tower for Everton, who's not even hit level 6 yet. And he's going to be forced to back out here, and he has to back far behind his tower because he does not want to get sniped out by Yahoo.com. He's just taking this lead so quickly. Top lane, Mufasa trading once again with C1, but C1 is able to turn it around just a bit decrypt. Oh, he's actually coming into this middle lane. There's the kill alert! There's Yahoo.com with the kill. Maxfield now. He's under the tower alone, and it looks like he'll be able to defend this off. He might actually want to go off here. He flashes away. What the heck is here? What the distance? Plays him back. He's going to go down. What the heck? Picks up the kill. Where did he come from? He roamed to the middle lane to help out Yahoo.com. And a perfect timing right there. How to play some bottling solo. Let's see if he can do it by himself. Here it is. The rocket grab getting in onto him. The exhaust is down to him as well. He's condemned against the wall. There's so much CC. He finally goes down the lines with the first kill of the game for University of Washington. Getting the 2v1. And that was a nice chain of CCs to pick off how to play here. Now what the heck is trying to find his entrance here. His hammer is sitting right at the entrance. Gets the play back onto 2. He actually took a lot of damage from that trade, just trying to get into the lane there, so probably not the best move by him, and he might fall victim to another 2v1 in this bottom lane if they do decide to dive on for him. However, how to play is coming in, and actually top lane, C1 goes down once again to Mufasa, who's just picking up kills left and right, with like his training with Hammer and Alliance. Hammer is trying not to go inside the box, but gets hit by a tree shot barrage. What the heck is looking for the kill? He plays him backwards, gets the attack, picks up the kill. Now there's the dark passage to get how to play and flashed in to close some distance. Alliance is going to be going down. And how to play picks up the kill. And what the heck? 
pretty much 2v1 there. Got some help with the uh, True Shot Barrage and he's just able to pick up the kills with the auto attack. Yada Kong going into tower. Every 10. Ignite's taking out. Picks up the kill. Maxfield DK Rupt is here as well to go into the tower. Double kill for Yahoo.com. 17 to 1. 10 minutes in. This is too much of a monstrous lead, I think, now for you, University of Washington, to come back. They made way too many mistakes in the landing phase. They got so behind. And Cerritos High School just absolutely wrecked them in the landing phase, to be honest here. I mean, Yahoo.com, he saw it. He just really took down Everton. And it was just before Everton could get to that level 6 point. And Everton was level 5 and at one point, and Yahoo.com was level 7. So he had a huge lead on him. I need to snowball. He's 6 0 and he's going for a death by uh, death by grass. Yeah, looks like now and this is gonna be the first dragon in the game. Ten minutes in. Voice Cerritos High School. This is easily easily theirs right here. And they have just a huge goal. The 9,000 gold ahead right now. Only 10 minutes in. That is insane. Bloodthirster for Ezreal. 11 minutes in. Picks up the uh, Berserker Greaves and another longsword as well. And Alliance, he doesn't even have boost right now. He just has the blade, uh, the build of cutlass, as well as the longsword. And these gaps are just too much right now. I, there's, I do not see University of Washington coming back unless they go for the late, late, late game. But you know they have the vein for the late game scaling. Kha'Zix is too far. Kha'Zix and Zed are too far behind right now. They'd have to farm up for ages to get on level with Yahoo.com at this point. Blitzwing is going to fall off a lot late game compared to the Rush's utility as we've been seeing it. And actually, there's a death sentence. Everton don't get to burst in. Decrut picks up the kill. Meanwhile, bottom lane, what the heck, comes in from behind. Gets the Dark Passage, brings in how to play. Hammer is going to be going down here. It's just going to be taking a few more auto attacks. Meanwhile, Yahoo.com as and Decrup hunt down Maxfield, find the kill, and take him out. And actually, Alliance ran all the way to the middle lane. He's at full health, but he is in the way of Decrup and Yahoo.com, who are heading over to hunt him down. And I don't see him being able to get out of this one here. He is so dead. He flashes over the wall, but he's heading towards the wrong base. Sonic Wave unable to land, but Yahoo.com is right behind him. Mufasa is coming to here as well. Alliance, there is no way he's escaping here. And Yahoo.com picks up another kill. Mufasa stands there. He tried to tried to get that kill. He used the uh, used the wind slash to get over there, but uh, wasn't able to get it. So twenty kills ahead right now for Cerritos High School. And I mean, after that first game was, which was pretty close for the laning phase, this is just a huge turnaround around for Cerritos High School. Everton, he is so gone. He is so gone right now. He knows he's dead. Yeah, that kind of knows he's dead. It's the fight from what the heck to pick up the kill and bottom lane how to play finds a kill for himself as well. And I mean, this is this is this game right here. There's no way, there's no way University of Washington is coming back from this game in any bit. Alliance chilling with how to play. It's a nice condemn, but he has to run away because how to play is right on top of him and picks up the kill. It wasn't even a contest there. C1 now getting dived up top lane. This is just cruel. This is Yordle abuse, diving, diving the rumble. Now 0 and 3. And now Maxwell's in trouble. He flashes over the wall, but right into how to play. Death, Dark Passage. They pull him. What the heck? He throws down the flay. He's taking a lot of damage though from the tower. And they'll go ahead and go back to farming these minions here. And oh, Mufasa runs into Everton. There is a death mark coming up. And Decrypt is here for the help. He's chasing after lands a Sonic Wave, flash away from Everton. Meanwhile, bottom lane, they're going for the 3v3. Yahoo.com is here. There's no way University of Washington. The chain lands from a, such a long range. Alliance goes down as well. And looks like Blitzcrank is next on the cutting block as Yahoo.com dives in, picks up the kill. Meanwhile, top lane, Mufasa finds a top lane tower. Bottom lane tower, inner tower going down as well. And it's almost 30 kills hit here at 14 minutes. 20, almost 30 kills here. They're one away. Just need one more to stack up. But this is just way too dominating right now. Mufasa onto C1. This is going to be the 30th kill. Possibly. C1 is actually running away. Throws down the electric harpoons with the slow. Mufasa is unable to catch up. Gets slowed out. Ooh, Chi Shot Barrage as well coming around. But can't find it there. And it's been like 10 minutes. 
No, not no. It's been longer than ten minutes. I've been no shorter than ten minutes. But it's been a while since the University of Washington have gotten the kill. It goes all the way back to when Alliance and uh, Hammer just two v one how to play, and they have been unable to pick up anything at all. And fifteen minutes in, Decrypt is hanging around this Baron. And they can. They can easily 15 minute Baron. Their AD carry almost has two full items. The Trinity Force and Bloodthirst. He has two components of the Trinity Force built up. And this is... They can probably do this. The Corrupt is actually taking quite a bit of damage here. They had to trade off a little bit of the tanking. But, I mean, they can probably just regen themselves back up. They have quite a few shields. They have the Dark Passage shield. And the safeguard shield from Lee Sin. So this is an easy one. Meanwhile, Yahoo.com can just look for your even more kills. Chain's coming off. And he gets the kill. And the Baron buff as well to top it all off. There's a 15-minute four-man Baron for Cerritos High School. Granted, the 30 kills ahead. First start of the game going down for University of Washington as they push down the bottom of the lines. And Hammer shoving that one up. And I'm pretty sure they've kind of lost all hope for this game at this point. Just gonna be sh trying to, you know, trying to get that split push going on for them as uh, Cerritos High School looks to just kill their base. They're going for this middle end of the tower. It's gonna make it five towers to one. Yahoo.com is actually making his way down bottom lane. He's looking for a 2v1. Meanwhile, Avatar diving on to how to play. But here comes Yahoo.com onto bottom lane. Alliance gets destroyed. And the Harriman now is in trouble. He has to run away from this one. But can he is the question. He has the speed buff. There's the flash as well as the distortion coming out of a blank as we get shifted over to this middle lane. But once again, he's still chasing after. There's the chain that roots him down. Yahoo.com. This is his kill. If he decides to take it. Meanwhile, Maxwell getting dived. Mufasa with the kill for himself. Yeah.com gets the very delayed kill onto Hammer. Just had to wait a little bit. Had to charge up that auto attack. You know how to, how to figure out where he was gonna where he's gonna place it. And this is going to be the inhibitor going down there. How to play with it. 17 minute inhibitor. And Evertan wants to go in here, but he gets locked up immediately. And now Alliance looking for something, but. He is a complete goner, and this is just, this is just a complete stomp. There is, I've just, oh my gosh, there's the shutdown coming out. They finally get another kill, but it's two versus three inside of the base. How to play Mufasa fighting it out with the remaining members of the University of Washington. And they, they finally get another kill on the board for themselves, University of Washington. It's pretty amazing, but once again, they're just getting farmed like minions right now. And Tam name Yahoo.com tries to go in. This gets out. Two shot brush coming across. Gets the kill actually onto every Tan. And Alliance gets completely kicked back and taken off. And this is going to be the victory. 18 minutes in here, unless they try to delay this one more. As Yahoo.com finds a kill on the C1 on the steps of the summoner platform there. And they actually have no minions, so they may not be wanting to push down this Nexus Tower. As Mufasa finds yet another kill. And this was just, they're going to be sticking around inside the fountain. They're looking to, you know, get some more kills out for themselves. It's all about that KDA, even though this is an actual league that will track that kind of stuff. Mufasa finds another kill. Now he's looking for one to Everton. He gets the double kill here. And now C1 flashes, comes out, flashes back onto the fountain. And I mean, this is just them messing around here. This game could have ended like two minutes ago if they had been actually trying to close it out. But Cerritos High School, I mean, the first game was a little bit closer, becoming a second. Oh, Mufasa! There is the hook they were looking for. Hammer finds another kill for his team. But at what cost? It's the cost of the Nexus going down here. Or possibly not. Nope, there it is. The Nexus is down, and that's Cerritos High School. Exactly 19 minutes in, they find the victory against University of Washington. In the high school Star League versus Collegiate Star League show match series. And I mean that was there was there was nothing University of Washington could do right there after the train started rolling. So guys, thank you for watching. It's been Crusader King casting for you all today. Wanna to see more about the high school Star League? Subscribe to us on YouTube, which you should be watching on right now, youtube.com slash high school star league. Check out our website, hsstarleague.com, as well as our Facebook and Twitter, both our HS Star League. Guys, thank you for watching. It's been Crusader Kitten. And yes, we'll see you all in the fields of justice.